Hi hey everyone, it's Bridget with Bees Alter Designs. Um, I had some questions on my craft shed, so I wanted to do a video on it because it's just easier than writing it all out. Um, one was my sticker um, storage. I simply used the, um, these are the metal um, scrapbook paper stands that they come apart. There's like four of them and they stack up. I just separated them and um, I since I got the new thing for my scrapbooking paper I used these. These I found in the dollar store like a really 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 long time ago. I mean this was years ago and I just held on to them. I used to use them for a page um, for like one scrapbooking page and I put all that. I put the paper and the embellishments and everything in here and then I would know you know, okay, that's the one I need to do next, um, and everything would be together. Um, but anyway, so these are where I store my stickers, and both of these shelves, um, sorry about the sun, both of these shelves, shelves, you know, have these papers on it, and I just organized it by what it is, like holidays and weddings, and the Army one is really Army- Air Force and USA kind of things um, but that's all I did um, and I have two stacks and that's how I keep my stickers and I'm telling you it is awesome having them that way and then let me cover this up and um, my other my other the other, one other question was my tripod and how it hangs on the ceiling and sorry about the brightness but this is my tripod and I have hung it. There is a hook on my tripod. And I don't know if it was designed for this. Be, you know, I don't know if everybody has that hook on their tripod. But mine did. So I put a hook, or my husband put the hook, up in the ceiling. And I've had it a few places. There's like quite a few holes. But I've had it a few places in my ceiling. And this one I was fine. This is I'm finally, you know, satisfied with. So there's just a hook holding that. The other thing I wanted to show you, which I didn't show you during my sh my um, video, is this shade. This is a shade, a window shade. And when I'm taking pictures of my projects, I just pull this down. I put a little thing on here. And I just pull it down and it gives me the white backdrop that I need. Because otherwise you would see that mess over there. Well, I call it a mess, but... It's as best as I can get it organized for now because I have so many projects. So anyways, those are a couple questions that I had um, on my crash shed tour. And I hope this helps. And if there's any other questions, just... Um, I know somebody else had asked Jane at Velocity Vet 1 because she took the pole idea from me. I actually did um, curtain rods. And I mean like the black one in the back that used to be in one of our bedrooms. And... It, I don't know, we changed whatever we changed, and it just sat in my other shed, so I used that one, but um, let me just go over there. I don't want to make you guys all dizzy, but anyway, so, and then these are just those basic curtain rods that have the holes there, and I just use hooks to um, hook them in there, and those are your shower curtain um, hooks. And they, I actually get them in Walmart in the curtain section and not the bathroom shower section because I've noticed they're the same hooks, but they're two different prices. If you get them in the curtain section, they're like $1.57 for a 12-pack. If you get them in the shower curtain section, they are like $3 and change. And I think it's because of the packaging because they put these little metal... Um, breads on the packaging. I don't know, but they're the same exact hooks and you get the same exact amount. But those were a couple questions that were asked and I know she had sent the person over to my channel to check out my video, but that's all I did. Um, I, I, of course, supported it um, in the middle with a bracket, but that's all I did and I tell you, it's been the best thing in the world to have all this hanging. I do still have... Um, I do still have a drawer. Let me see. This drawer over here is still filled with lace. And I simply just um, cut cereal boxes to look like thread, um, spools of thread. And look, I even measured it all. And I know in inches how many, 
how much I have and this whole drawer is filled and I just don't have the room above my head to hang all that lace yet so um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do but for now it's in the drawer and I keep the drawer open so I remember that it's all in there so I use it so anyways those were the questions that I had and um, feel free to ask me anything you know about any of the storage that I have and I appreciate it and have a good day